Hello. If you search for Korean SAT math on Google, then you may find the problem posted on Reddit. This problem was actually the one set on 2018 Korean SAT on November 2017. At this time, let me show how I solved this problem. To interpret this problem, suppose that t is any real number, fx is defined as in the problem, and for some odd number k, gt is defined as in the problem. Alpha is all numbers such that gt attains a local minimum at t equals alpha. And alpha 1 to alpha m are all possible alphas listed from least to greatest, where m is a positive integer. Then sum of all alphas are 45. What we need to find is k minus pi square times sum of all local minimums. In order to find the answer, I will need to find the local minimum values of gt and its t's. To do this, let's analyze how gt looks like. The function gt is an integration of fx times cosine pi x from k to k plus 8. That is also equal to the area of multiples of fx and cosine pi x between x equals k and x equals k plus 8. fx will graphically look like the green one above. It is a continuous function which slope is 1 between t minus 1 and t, and negative 1 between t and t plus 1. It will also move left and right based on the value of t. Cosine pi x is as pictured below a graph of fx. Its period is 2, it has a local minimum where of x is odd, and has a local maximum where of x is even. So cosine pi x must look like the below between k and k plus 8 since k is odd number as given in the problem. Again, gt could be told as the area of multiples of fx and cosine pi x between x equals k and x equals k plus 8. Then where can gt have local maximum and local minimum? By thinking intuitively, we can understand that gt has local maximum, where t of fx meets the local maximum of cosine pi x like the picture above. Just look at the cosine pi x on the interval k, k plus 2. In this interval, cosine pi x is symmetrical at x equals k plus 1 and is increasing and then decreasing. So does fx. So I convinced that gt has a local maximum at t equals k plus 1, k plus 3, k plus 5, and k plus 7, because cosine pi x has period of 2, and the length of non-zero interval of fx is 2 as well. Similarly, gt has a local minimum where t equals k plus 2, k plus 4, and k plus 6, because the shape of cosine pi x is opposite on the intervals k plus 1, k plus 3, k plus 3, k plus 5, and k plus 5, k plus 7 compared to the previous intervals. It also has local minimum points where t equals k and t equals k plus 8. However, gt is integrated from k to k plus 8. So gk is integrated from k to k plus 1, and g k plus 8 is integrated from k plus 7 to k plus 8, while g k plus 2 is integrated from k plus 1 to k plus 3. So gk and gk plus 8 are half of the other local minimum values. If you want to find the local minimum points algebraically, you can also solve the integral form of gt in different intervals and then take derivatives by t. It takes some time though. If you want to do so, try and compare your work with this slide. Again, gt has local minimum values where t equals k, k plus 2, k plus 4, k plus 6, and k plus 8. So k plus, k plus 2 plus, k plus 4 plus, k plus 6 plus, k plus 8 equals 45. And then we get k equals 5. Then what we need to answer to this problem is the above. I believe that you can find the answer on your own if you can solve gt. This is the way I solved. g5 is equal to the integral of the multiple of these two graphs below. It is also equal to half of negative g6, because the red graph cosine pi x is shaped opposite against the left part. 
and it is also equal to the integration part from x equals 0 to x equals 1, where t equals 0. In order to calculate this part, I applied di method of integration by parts. Differentiate 1 minus x until it becomes 0, and integrate the other parts as many as 1 minus x is differentiated. And then multiply like the groups on the right side, then apply on the equation like the slide. As a result, I get 2 over pi square. We already know that g7, g9, and g11 are twice of g5, and g13 is equal to g5. So we can get these. Eventually, we can get the answer by calculating this process. How was this video? Please hit like if you liked my video today, and subscribe if you want to study math with my videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.